Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial on multiplying and dividing thirds. Hopefully you've looked at the, uh, the lesson on what a third is and, and how to simplify thirds. This is the next installment. Um, what I'm going to look at, I'm going to look at two rational numbers to start with, okay, in, uh, both involving the radical signs, just to help us with our understanding. So I'm going to look at um, square root of 4 times the square root of 9. Now these are both rational numbers because they can be simplified to be whole numbers um, or have a fraction with, with uh, integers on top and bottom. Now root 4 over or times root 9. Now obviously the square root of 4 would be 2, the square root of 9 would be uh, 3, so 2 times 3 equals 6. I'm going to write this a little bit different way. What's 4 times 9? Well, 4 times 9 is equals 36. And hopefully you might realize that the relationship, the fact that the square root of 36 equals 6, and these two things are exactly the same. So the square root of 4 times the square root of 9 is exactly the same as saying the square root of 4 times 9 equals 36. It's kind of backwards. Like the last installment when we were looking at simplifying, we were breaking down these numbers into two numbers. Um, that times together give 36 or, or whatever that number might be because we said that we could write these two these two different questions um, which meant the same thing I guess so square root of 4 times square root of 9 is the same as saying square root of 4 times 9 okay um, and that's basically multiplying and dividing has the same sort of factors as well so let's have a look if I had something like um, like this the square root of 10 times the square root of 2. Now these are two irrational numbers. So these are both thirds and you might be asked to, to simplify this. Um, well it's a question. So do the same fact here. We did 4 times 9 is 36. So 10 times 2 equals 20. And that's it. Now obviously you might then recognize, hold on, the square root of 20, we did this last lesson. That's the same as doing square root of 4 times 5 which is the same as saying the square root of 4 is 2, 2 root 5. So all of a sudden you can see now from that we can multiply together to simplify it, I guess, to make it under one radical sign. But then sometimes you can go further and actually simplify it down to a nice answer, 2 times root 5 or 2 root 5. Okay, and that's basically what you do to multiply. And the same sort of thing as I explained before happens with, with, uh, with your dividing skills. I'm just going to look at um, a question like this one. So we're going to say the square root of, let's say, uh, 72 divided by the square root of 8. Well, this means exactly the same as the square root of 72 divided by 8. Well, 72 divided by 8 equals 9, so that's the square root of 9. And of course, the square root of 9 equals 3. So what we started with, we started with two irrational numbers or two thirds and we actually came with a rational number in this instance. So there, that's the basic gist of things. The basic gist, as you can see in one memento, okay, this is our rules. So the rules are, well you can see here for the first one, that when you have the square root of a number and you square it, you remain with a number. So for example, if I said the square root of 9, and I want to square it, square it, well the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 squared is 9. And in fact, the whole basics, basis of that the square is opposite to the square root sign, they cancel each other out, so we're left with 9. That can help us sometimes, because sometimes when we have easier questions, like for example, root 3 times root 3, or simply just root 3 squared, okay, that's going to be the number of just 3, okay, because if I get the square root of 3 and I'm squaring it, that's basically can, um, counteracting each other out, okay, so the opposites of each other, they cancel, so we're left with um, just 3. You can check on your calculator too if that helps you. Um, we also looked at that fact, for example, the square root of 3 times the square root of 5 is equal to the square root of 3 times 5 which equals the square root of 15. Now notice, I do want to bring this out, see how they've used this little dot? 
Okay, often in mathematics, the dot is the same as times. So if they could say 5.3, which could mean 15. So you just got to be careful sometimes, which particularly when you're looking at the textbooks and stuff. Sometimes they will use that dot, which doesn't mean decimal point, but actually means times. Okay, so in this case, I could have written the square root of 3 dot the square root of 5, which means the square root of 15. Okay, now in this particular case, square root of 15, nothing else breaks down, it just breaks down to 5 and 3, so that would be my simplified answer. And the last fact we looked at was this one, where you had the square root, let's say, of um, 10 divided by the square root of 2, which is the same as saying the square root of 10 divided by 2, in this case, would be square root of 5. Okay, so there are our rules of multiplication and division. So let's have a look at a couple of more trickier questions, I guess. Okay, so we're going to look at a couple of different questions. So we're going to look at a nice one, which is 3 root 7 times 5 root 7. So this is slightly more slightly different because now we have numbers out in the front. But again, it's, it all means the same thing because this actually means 3 times root 7 times 5 times root 7. And then we can just simply times the things that we know that will work. For example, 3 times 5 makes 15. Root 7 times root 7, well that's the same as root 7 squared, which is just 7. And then we can say 15 times 7, well 10 times 7 is 70, 7 is 35, so it's 105, and you can check that in your calculator as well. So what we're actually doing, we're times in the two nut big numbers together, and then we can times the two thirds together. And that's pretty much it. Um, let's have a look at another one. Let's look at a nice one here. 5 root 27. I'm going to write it this way. Oh, we'll write it this way. Times 3 root 6. Okay. So now you don't have to write it that way each time, because I know that 5 times 3 is 15. So I'm going to write that out straight away. We've got root 27 times root 6. Now, you could go ahead and do 27 times 6, but what I've actually noticed is that 27 is one of the nicest thirds because I know it can cancel down. I know that root 27 is the same as saying 9 times 3, because 9 3 is 27. Root 9 is 3, so that makes 3 root 3. Okay, so again, that's the way I've said, the reason that was because I had root 9 times root 3, which is the root 27, which equals 3 root 3. Okay, so I've cancelled that down, times my root 6. So likewise, I can say 15 times 3 is 45. Then root 3 times root 6 is root 18. And then I've noticed that this means the same as 9 times 2, and root 9 is 3, so 45 times 3 is 135 root 2. That is probably your most challenging question with multiplication. Okay, it's not going to get much more challenging than that. And just the very last question we're going to do, we're going to do a similarly difficult question, um, I guess with division, um, which will have 15 root 32 divided by 5 root 8. Um, and likewise with the multiplication, same thing. Let's do 15 divided by 5. That equals 3. My root sign. 32 divided by 8 equals 4. Well, root 4 is 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. Have a few goes at your questions, your exercises. Have a crack at it. Um, look. Practice makes perfect. That's all I can say. Enjoy.